Hello, hello. What have we got here? <laughs> Who are you ladies? I'm Leslie. This is Justine. All right. And what's the relationship here? It's my daughter. Oh, really? Well, you know Wonderful. what they say, don't you? If you want to know what you're going to look like in 20 years, Thanks take a that. look at your mother. <laughs> you you haven't right. made a friend there. I'm noticing a little bit of tension. Only a little bit. Listen, if there's one thing I know that Judge Ron can do, he can make two ladies like you walk out of that room like best friends. Come on, there you go. You're not going to help your mother up? No? <laughs> I don't worry about it. You're a great daughter. You're a real credit to her. <laughs> Claimant Leslie is bringing her nine children to court for compensation as they've been using her home as a storage facility. Defendant Justine says it's a parent's duty to look after their children's belongings. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hi. I won't do that. Like, it's going to stop anyone from getting in on <laughs> What a waste of time. <laughs> I'm just saying that locking that thing seems pointless. Yes, I'm going to file that in a box mark things I couldn't give a shit about. <laughs> OK. <laughs> so, uh, welcome to our court. You are the claimant, Leslie. Yes. And you are the defendant, Justine. Yes. Leslie, could you tell us why you have brought Justine to our court today? Because my children and my grandchildren and my children's children, after the last sort of 20 or 30 years, keep bringing stuff to my house. What uh, kind of stuff? Well, grand pianos. OK. Uh, <laughs> ten <laughs> tennis rackets. OK. Two, two um, tenor horns. Tenor uh, horns? Yeah. <laughs> Violin. Are you trying to start the world's shittest <laughs> orchestra? <laughs> so what's the problem? <laughs> well, I've got... I, I can't get to anything. OK. I hope you don't mind me saying you couldn't have been less clear on what the issue is. So, <laughs> So, so what the situation is, is you're at your house yeah. and your children and your children's children, which for the court's benefit we'll refer to as the grandchildren. <laughs> yeah, but they're what their they do, children. They're their children. No, I understand, I understand how grandchildren work. <laughs> so they turn up and they bring grand pianos and tennis rackets to your house because... Because they live in other places. And right. Sometimes <laughs> the country... <laughs> OK, if you want to bring this claim here, you're going to have to get your shit together, OK? Because <laughs> I'm already on the verge of being really bored of you, all right? So... No, 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 hey, go in. So I'm please, a little bit in love with her. Listen, mate, I don't even understand what the hell she's hey, talking she's about. Charming, Someone's she's brought sweet. a free grand piano, hey, just have her knees up and shoot the up about it. You do you. <laughs> Be you. OK, ignore tree boy. Um, <laughs> so, sorry, I just want to get to the bottom of this. So... So they're bringing stuff to your house? Yes. And leaving it there? Yes. Why are they bringing it to your house? Well, because they sort of move back home for a little while and then they go again, but they leave bits of themselves behind. They leave bits of themselves <laughs> behind. So how many children and grandchildren are we talking about? Um, well, nine children and, nine children. and, and about 14 grandchildren That's... and eight great-grandchildren. OK, so I would argue that the first mistake you made was having nine kids. <laughs> that, <that's... laughs> no, no, some of them were pre-loved. I didn't... Some of them were pre-loved. <laughs> Are you I, saying I, I, that you've got used <laughs> children? <laughs> I, I inherited some. You inherited... <laughs> Sorry, do you know how life works? <laughs> I, I don't... And she brought a couple of spare ones home as well. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> so... Yeah. <laughs> some children... <laughs> that are yours and some children that you inherited from other people, <laughs> pre-loved children, which was one of the worst things I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> they are coming to your house and leaving <laughs> grand pianos and tennis rackets round. What is your complaint? The house seems very small now. <laughs> so, much so there's so much stuff in your house. What would you like done about it? I'd like them to, to have it back. So, Justine, you're the defendant. Now, Leslie is complaining about nine children. Now, can I just take it that you are not nine people? Because you are... <laughs> you're here as a defendant. What exactly is going on? I'm... I'm the middle child, so... I've got issues anyway. <laughs> but... Listen, listen. I've spoken to Leslie, I know you've got issues. All right, so... <laughs> um, what's the situation from your point of view? Every 
parent has a few of their child's items. She's OK, can we stop explaining how families work to me? <laughs> I, I understand that, but carry on. But she's got a lot of kids, so she's got a lot of their items. Right. She's storing stuff for the hairdresser. Why are you storing stuff for the hairdresser? You didn't have anywhere to put it. Why is that your problem? It's my hairdresser. <laughs> OK. And yet, look at her hair. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, that is your mum. <laughs> yes, her hair looks dreadful. <laughs> You're allowed to say that. <laughs> Kerry, I believe that you have a list of things. I do. These are some items that have been left at Leslie's. OK, let's have a look, Kerry. Go ahead. OK. <clears throat> We've got a crochet blanket. That can't be from our generation. Look at it. <laughs> Maybe a milkman left it or something like that. Cran. <laughs> <laughs> The Quran, if you tried to bring that to sway me, because I'm not Muslim. No, that, no. <laughs> Why have you got the Quran? It belongs to my son who's in Singapore. It belongs to your son who's in Singapore. Okay. Is he Muslim? No. <laughs> no, of course. <laughs> So why has he got the Quran and then why has he left it at your house? Someone came to our house to a party and gave him the Quran. What kind of party? <laughs> Who's handing out Quran to a party? <laughs> um, okay, are you happy for your mum to throw it all out? Well, I, I don't know about all of it. <laughs> so what do you want kept behind? My stuff. <laughs> So, do you, do, you, do you understand how each of the nine children might say that and so that she's got a problem here where she's got stuff cluttering her house? I mean, I guess what I'm saying is, take your shit back, Dickie. <laughs> Whenever we've tried to take it back, yeah. it's never been the right time. Oh, she's just having a dig cos I'm in Spain sometimes. I think you need family therapy. Yeah. Um, and I'm just being reminded, listening to you, that life is finite. So, I think... <laughs> I think I've heard enough. Can I get, uh, Leslie, a closing statement from you to try and sway the court? Uh, certainly. I, I just think, as one person, short. I should have, <laughs> have a little bit of space right. for my junk and, and not all the children's junk forever. They keep promising to take it when it's convenient, when they move, when they come back to England, mm -hmm. whenever. OK, and, and does it concern you that so many of your children uh, feel so strongly about it that they've moved to different countries? Does that...? <laughs> Um, they still ask me to keep it till they come back. Yeah, of course, yeah. I'm sure they're coming back. Um, Justin, <laughs> and what's your closing statement? We, we're all happy for Mum to throw it out. Right. If it stops her using us as an excuse for the house being a tip. <laughs> right, so you're happy to get rid of the stuff and you want the stuff gotten rid of. Well, in that case, I rule in favour of the claimant. Leslie, thank you so much. Off you go. <laughs> Make sure they're not allowed to return, please. <laughs> I think justice was served today. As you said, you had a house in Spain? A flat, only a flat. I haven't taken anything of the kids to Spain. No, <laughs> about the kids. I'm just thinking, do you rent your flat out in Spain? No. For friends? Oh, really? Not even family, no. Oh, great. What a lovely human being you are. I actually was thinking it was you who was in the wrong, but obviously yeah. it, she didn't even give a flat out to her kids. Well, um, I suppose you've got something to say about it all as well. No, not really. I oh, mean, then. ultimately, she, if she'd have let us have our stuff back when we wanted it. Well, you know what? I think we can all look at this. <laughs> is basically through holding all your old shit, what she was actually trying to do is hold on to her kids. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should go around there and see her a little bit more. She's obviously <laughs> lonely. Um, so, uh, you know, she's your mother. You only get one, blah, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> guys, thank you for coming on the show. See you later. Thank you. <laughs>